What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. I'm at Goodwill. We're about to get this day started. Got to drop off an FBA shipment at UPS today. Bring a couple Goodwill, Salvation Army. We're going to see what we can find, what we can make some money on. So let's go. So I spot this Sony uh, stereo system here. And I want $50 for it. And it looks pretty nice. Has some speakers, but for resale, that's just not good enough. I don't like dealing with these. Especially if I'm going to sell them on Amazon. They're just way too big. Uh, even eBay. Unless they're really high end, I don't mess with them. There's a Panasonic, um, pretty good phone set. They wanted $10 for it though, and since I have so many phone sets I'm still working on, I just left it. Uh, there's no point in me adding another one, um, especially at $10. Now, if it had been like three bucks, I would have bought it. And um, not a whole lot going on at this Goodwill. There's a tape deck. I don't like messing with these either. I actually didn't even look this up. There was no remote, and usually the uh, rubber bands, the belts are rotted away and you have to replace them uh, over here in the sporting goods I spot some things that I thought was pretty interesting like this racket um, this one looked pretty old and like it was probably a higher-end racket so I ended up looking it up and uh, the comps were pretty good on it and um, you can see that there's um, some more rackets in there those are just kind of the basic ones that aren't very good you can see like that one's not a one-piece racket and uh, I'm looking for the cover actually and I see it over here and there's the price on it $2.99 um, It's not in the greatest shape. I did end up picking it up. I don't know how well it's going to do uh, They brought out another cart. So I went over here to check and it's another um, CD unit here um, Fortunately, they want $149.99 for this one That's going to sit for a while. Like I don't even think that would sell online for that um, there's a model. I actually looked it up. I couldn't even find any information on it. So um, I turned and I, I seen something over here that I thought, oh, this might be worth checking out because I thought it could be new. It's one of the Hometics uh, foot massagers with the heat. Now, I've sold different ones. I don't think I've sold this one. I'm pretty sure this one's a lower end model. Plus the box has been open. I look inside and sure enough, it's pretty dirty. And just the, the comps just aren't good enough, like 25 bucks. So that was left on the Goodwill shelf. So I'm out of Goodwill, and um, here's what I got. I got this uh, Needlepoint. Um, this brand I've sold before for um, upwards of 45 50 60 dollars even on some of these uh, cross stitch Needlepoints. And um, this one, unfortunately, is open. Now it doesn't look like it's been used. Uh, I have no way of really telling like the needles in there look like they're still sealed Maybe the plastic just broke off. I can't imagine someone opening it to take something out. I would guess that somebody could um, Just buy like some of the yarn if it's missing or something if they want to do it So um, I did look there was one sold on eBay. That was the only one um, listed and sold and it sold for $45 plus shipping that was new so for two dollars i figure let's see if uh somebody will buy it i'll just have to say i don't know if everything's in here unless there's like a paper that really is good at telling you what's supposed to be in there and i can figure it out um otherwise yeah i'll just price it you know 25 30 bucks and see if it sells if someone wants to buy it here's another unique thing i don't really buy now this was kind of old and um it's a racket i guess racket ball and um it looked like the comps were pretty good on this, like $30 plus shipping one sold for. Now, it was in a bit better condition. Uh, this one does have a name on it, I think, can get off, and the wood's kind of, the paint's kind of coming off. But you know what? I thought I would take a chance on it, um, branch out, sell more unique things. Um, I remember seeing somebody talk about this, and I don't know who it was. It had to be a YouTuber. I do not remember, so I can't really give credit to who was talking about this. Um, but if you look at rackets, if they're all one piece, they're typically worth more. And if they're split into two um, separate pieces, like they're um, attached, welded on, or whatever, then they're not worth as much. So I kind of been looking up any rackets I see that are um, just one whole piece, just to see if they have any value. Because I know some rackets do have um, a lot of value. Anyway, I'm going to go hit up Walmart and see if there's any clearance, get some groceries, and then we'll head on to somewhere else. So inside Walmart, I find these paddles, pickleball paddles, and I scan them, and they're seven bucks, normally $30. So 
So there's four of them. I decided to pick those up and I'll make a little bit of money on them in the end. So not a bad just for stopping for groceries. So it must be uh, the day of the rackets because here's, I guess these are considered paddle ball, pickleball paddle. Um, these were normally $30 at Walmart and um, I got them for $7. And um, I'll probably sell these on eBay. I'll price them. Um, I th I've seen people selling them as doubles uh, for like $44.99. So um, I got $14 and two of them. Um, at least double my money. I might end up making ten, probably ten dollars a piece on them if I can get that price. I don't know how fast they're going to sell. It looks like they sell pretty often. Uh, I got four of them, so um, if I make ten dollars a piece, that's forty dollars profit. So not too bad. Let's get over to Salvation Army and see if there's any goodies in there. Here in Salvation Army, they got this Bose speaker system, one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, super not worth it and they even they used to have a one speaker that went with it and I guess someone probably bought just the speaker somehow and now it's just the receiver there uh, these Kirby uh, shampoo things they kind of sell um, I don't want to pay money for it and mess with it um, I've sold one before it just wasn't that good of a mover and the price just wasn't that good here's a bunch of hearing aid uh, batteries these are all expired and um, I just decided to leave them because I've sold these before and they don't really move too well for a lot of money. Um, unless you have certain ones, I probably should have looked them up, but I left them. Here I am in a Goodwill. Now, I never remember what I find in these Goodwills when I'm recording this um, audio. And uh, <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, $14.99, it's a Sony 300 uh, disc changer. I actually just sold one of these, I think for $279. It wasn't broken and had a big hole in the middle. So mine was a bit better. Uh, if that had the remote was in good condition, that would be a pickup all day. Uh, checking to see if this unit is a CD recorder. It is not just a normal uh, CD player. I usually don't mess with those. They don't hold a lot of value. Um, electronics, he's just like a, what was this, an iDevice. Not going to mess with that. Even the Sony ones uh, don't tend to sell too well. And uh, my contact's messing up. I'm having trouble seeing this stuff. Oh, here's this Concord. Uh, Real to real, four ninety nine. I couldn't find any comps on it, so I left it. And um, oh, this land camera. I was gonna buy this, and um, I looked it up. They sell for like twenty, maybe twenty five dollars. But this one had issues when you tried to open it, so I ended up leaving that behind as well. And over here in the toys, um, checking to see if it's Jurassic World. And I see this. I flip it over, and wow, Jurassic Park. I have never found a Jurassic Park toy, so I was pretty pretty shocked to see this. Um, grabbed it up and started looking for more. <laughs> I went back and checked that one just to, just to see if it was a Jurassic World or Park, and I might have missed it. It was not. Just a generic dinosaur. But um, over here, I, I spot another one of the Triceratops, I guess it is, the JPs. Uh, they were $1.99. Now, I looked these up. Unfortunately, they're, they're just not. They just didn't have value. Um, actually, I don't think any of them even sold that were on there and they were priced at like $10 for two. So <laughs> just wasn't good to pick them up. So I ended up leaving them. I was really disappointed, but here's one of the Safari, um, Carnegie, um, Stegosaurus for 99 cents. So I ended up grabbing that guy. You can get about 15 bucks for those. Sometimes they're a bit long tail, but, uh, they do sell. If you remember in a previous video, I found one of the Indominus Rex Jurassic World figures. It's worth about $60, even though I sold it for like $45 plus shipping. I definitely undersold it. Um, but I found one of them in a bag like that. So I'm always checking these bags for any figures. And I don't know everything about figures. So there definitely could be something in there that I'm not aware of. Uh, looking at it though, like these are newer Ninja Turtles. I don't see any value in them. But there could be. There's so much to learn out there. It can be a bit overwhelming sometimes. So there is my massive haul out of that Goodwill. This is a uh, Safari Stegosaurus. It's from 88. Uh, I don't think I've ever found one that old. Um, so it was a, oops, it was a dollar. And I should be able to sell it for about $14.99 with free shipping. I'm not making them eight, nine dollars maybe in the end, but it'd be easy to take pictures and let's ship that. So I figured why not? It's unfortunate this Jurassic World or Jurassic Park figures uh, weren't, worth more some of the jurassic park figures are worth a lot i've just never actually found them in the wild and the, the ones that look like this they're usually larger 
Uh, they can go for over a hundred bucks, so uh, definitely keep an eye out for these dinosaurs, especially the ones that say uh, JW or JP. Like the, the ones in there, they didn't even have any comps that sold. Um, there were a bunch listed on there, so just not worth picking up. But I think I'm going to head over to Restore now and see if I can find anything in there. Here in Restore, they had a bunch of these lawnmower belts that obviously came from Lowe's. I went $8 for them, and they were half off today. Unfortunately, most of these belts were just not good movers, and they're all mixed in with different sizes. So I ended up leaving them. Um, there was a couple I maybe could have made some money on, but they were kind of long tail, like I said. And I still got a bunch of belts and blades I'm selling from last season. So uh, unfortunately, uh, not good for me. I was going to go on a walk, but I decided to come watch uh, Avengers Endgame because I haven't seen it yet. So here we are. I'm going to sit here in the car for a bit, wait for it to start, then I'll go home and do work. I swear. So I am back home. I decided to take a nap. Uh, I seen Endgame. Honestly, not too impressed. I think it had a lot of problems. Anyway, I'm trying to get some work done here, get some stuff listed on eBay so I don't, you know, completely waste the day and not get any work done. I keep getting emails from um, Teespring uh, about my YouTube channel. Apparently you can sell shirts on your channel through Teespring. Um, <laughs> don't think that's something I'm going to be doing, but I just find it funny they want me to um, sell t-shirts. Um, maybe I will. How many uh, shirts can I put you guys down for? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to count the pieces on this right here, this cathedral game I got the other day. Actually, I got pictures of stuff, so I'm probably going to list and then um, maybe just do all that later because I need to actually get the stuff I have pictures for um, listed. Then I'll take a bunch more pictures and then um, just, you know, complete the process. I went ahead and listed 20 items on eBay. I uh, took some pictures for some more. And uh, this game's cathedral game I got the other day, decided to check the piece count. All the pieces are there, except it doesn't seem to have the manual. Um, actually, the, the contents here on the back doesn't mention that it comes with any sort of manual so maybe it doesn't i'll check ebay and see if any of the used ones on there have a manual maybe i can print it off online and include it i also got this random thing in there that's not supposed to be in there so i got a free fish thing i'll sell that for nothing but yeah i don't know if i'll end up piecing it out or selling it complete i only pay 2.99 but i'll make some money in the end then I was going to do something with this NCAA Football 13. Got a Salvation Army. Uh, it's been a week or two ago now. And um, I flipped it over. I'm like, hey, that's in good condition. But I get it home and look now. And I don't know if you're going to see it. It's got little cracks along the sides there. Um, it doesn't show up too well. So I don't think it'll work. I'll uh, end up testing it at some point um i was just gonna sell it on amazon i don't know get out of here you're just annoying slowing me down just for a little bit of profit but that's gonna do it for the video everybody i want to thank you for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button for me if you did not enjoy it hit that dislike button you can follow me on twitter instagram flipping underscore junk ring that bell so you know when every new video comes out and this has been wick Till next time